When I'm doing an assessment on who someone is, the first thing that I do is I find out about their history. Where were they born? What was that like? What was their life experience? I want to see the world through their eyes. And what happens if you are born in a hostile environment? And what happens if you feel like an outsider even in that hostile environment? Or you come from a society where you are looked down on by other people. It makes a huge difference to our psychological makeup. And if you don't really grasp that, then you're not gonna be able to really understand who someone is. So here we have Victor, he's a little boy, and you see he's separated from where all the other kids are, and they're playing in this toxic, oil-filled water, but they're happy and they're all together. And here he is with this beautiful, fanciful contraption that we can tell that he's made himself. Oh, and I love his eyes. He's seen someone, another friend, that's come over to take a, a look at what he's made. And you can see his eyebrows goes up. He's quizzical. He's Hoping to make a connection. Isn't that what we all want? We want to be able to make connections with others. And when we're young, that's really important to us. We're trying to form peer groups because that makes us feel like we're part of a tribe, which we really need to be able to feel a sense of identity. You can tell that he's so excited to show this little girl this cool contraption and he's hoping that this contraption will kind of captivate so he shows her how it moves but she gets called away to her friends and she's on this rock formation that he can't get to because of his own difficulty with walking, he can't climb. And so I think that this really shows this juxtaposition of why he is so separated from the other kids because they're climbing on these rocks and jumping in this water and he's not able to. And so we leave with this scene of him being socially isolated from others. And what happens to us when at a young age we feel isolated from others? We feel like we don't fit in. We're that black sheep, we're different. It can be something that causes a social anxiety where we decide, you know what, I'm gonna try to isolate myself, but I'm gonna try to get involved, but it's gonna feel awkward and uncomfortable. Social anxiety is that fear of judgment from others. Or we might decide that, you know what, I'm gonna learn to depend on myself, entertain myself, become my own best friend. I'm gonna try to find another way to make me make a difference and become my own best friend. And those two decisions kind of happen depending on our personality type and the things that are around us and our talents and skills that we have at the moment. I love the little giggle that Victor has because you can tell that that's the choice that he made. He's proud of his own little tiny contraption. There's something that happened inside of his head, this little dialogue of, Wow, that was pretty cool. I think that this, this entertained me quite a good deal. And we have to say that the boat is pretty awesome. So I completely get why he is plum pleased with himself. I think it's also very telling that he created something that can travel and travel so effortlessly, much better than he can with his own legs after he falls and trips. He has created something that's an extension of him that can travel and travel really quickly. And I think that that kind of gives us some foreshadowing of what he hopes to be able to create later in life. Though he has difficulty in walking, you see this scene where he has all these boulders and rocks that are in his way, and it shows his resilience, because though you can tell that this is gonna be very difficult for him to be able to walk through, he makes it anyways. He's learned determination. He's learned that he's not gonna let things stop him, even if it takes longer to be able to get there. He's gonna get the job done. Don't be afraid. You built this. 
Why aren't you playing with the others? I love that Singed holds up the boat and right away goes, you built this. He's showing interest in Victor's creation, then also asking him a very personal question. Why aren't you playing with the others? And Victor comes out and shows that he walks with a cane, as though that is the answer for it. But I love Singed's... Singed's? I love Singed's... <laughs> I love Singe's reply. Loneliness is often the byproduct of a gifted mind. <laughs> Perfect. Loneliness is often the byproduct of a gifted mind. He doesn't see the fact that he has a leg that doesn't work very well as the reason for it. He's saying, you're intelligent and because of that, you are wanting to make and create things and maybe you see yourself as different than the other kids. And sometimes that that can cause loneliness. I believe that for Singed, he's talking about himself. He's actually projecting his own thoughts onto Victor because he himself is a gifted mind. And usually when you see Singed, he's almost always alone. What is it? This is real. She's a rare mutation that I cultivated. So now Victor is showing interest in Singed's creation, Singed. And that's really cool because here are two inventors scientists that are taking a look at what no one else really gets to see or fully appreciate. Okay, and I, I'll just say, I love Rio. Rio is my favorite creature in the entire show. Just so cute, the little tiny trilling, like right away with those big, beautiful eyes and the cute little noises, it plays on our heartstrings. We're meant to want to love and have affection towards Rio. I think that they do a great job, especially with Victor laughing and giggling as Victor gives Rio a gift of food. Rio gives back a gift of slime, as if making a fair trade, but just so very cute. She's dying. I'm attempting to prevent that. The mutation must survive. Can I help? You want to assist me? Very well. Wow, so that ability, like that asking to be able to be a part of something, it takes so much ego strength to be able to ask. That fear of rejection, of abandonment, of not being good enough, of being annoying, or having someone say yes out of pity is so terrifying for so many of us. And when Singed looks over and asks him again, you want to help. I love Victor's little tiny shrug, like, yeah, kind of. Would you let me do that? And you can see his eyebrows furrow of, he's worried about the reply. Is he gonna be good enough and be accepted? Also, he wants to be able to help. If he can make a difference in order to keep her alive, he wants to, and that shows who he is as a person. He wants to be able to make a difference in people's lives. He wants to be able to do good, make a mark, count, matter. Very well. We can be loners together. I loved Singed's reply. Singed. I love Singed is. I love Singed's reply. We can be lonely together. One is because it's so heartfelt. He touches his shoulder really softly. If they're together, then they're not actually lonely. So here we have two people that are like-minded. I think that Singed sees a lot of himself in Victor. Now he's found a kindred spirit that he can mentor and be able to teach and watch and grow. I love this. It shows Victor's heart, how deep it is, and gives it this heartfelt hug that they're in distress, there's something wrong with them. Rio will live. We did this? I thought you understood. The mutation must survive. Victor, no doubt, was hoping for it to be happy and its well-being was taken care of. And for Singed, it was important as the experiment to keep the mutation alive so that he could end up finding out and learning from it. Those two pieces of humanitarian versus scientist and is the greater good worth even if something is created in pain? It's a question that philosophers and scientists ask all the time. And we see those two pieces in Victor and in Singed. The mutation must survive.
And then when Singe reached down, I was expecting him to cuddle Rio or touch Rio, or comfort them. But the thing that he did was he made sure that all of the tubes were hooked up correctly. And so it also shows that for Singed, it's first and foremost that he makes sure that the experiment is successful because that is so important to him. I understand now. And when Victor comes back as an adult, it's only at this very moment when Victor's own life, when it might be his own experiment that might be destroyed and ruined, that he gets why Singed puts so much emphasis on keeping Rio alive, even though it may not have been the best thing for Rio. It sounds like he's saying sorry when he's using those words. For Lee Singe, sometimes the ends justify the means. And it seems like Victor has come back saying, yes, I think that this is really important as well. And I understand, and I'm sorry that I didn't understand when I was young. And it's so sad, you see Rio in the tank and it doesn't really look like Rio is alive. It seems like Rio's being kept in this suspended animation and it's kind of heartfelt and heartbreaking. You see Singed looking at him with this soft look in that blink as though he's accepting that Victor has come back and that at least finally he understands a little bit about what Singed is hoping to do. And I believe that for Victor, it's a huge difference in the way that Heimerdinger does things and Singed does things. He has come full circle and he's going back to Singed with knowing that sometimes when your experiment, the thing that you've put so much energy into, that when that has a risk of being destroyed or lost, you might choose to do the wrong thing in order to keep it alive. After Heimerdinger said that, you know what, you have to destroy your experiment, he went back to Singed because he knows that Singed would understand that sometimes he's gonna do whatever he has to to keep his experiment alive because he truly believes that this can help people and help himself. But also when you've worked on creating something and put all your energy into it and you want to make a difference when you felt like your life didn't matter, that that want to make a mark on the world is so great and for Victor, his life is at stake, but also his legacy. He now really understands why Singed would do almost anything to be able to keep his experiment there. So Victor was a pretty amazing scientist, and if you want to learn a little bit more about creating your own amazing things, you can check out our sponsor, Brilliant. You can check out the website or app to learn hands-on how to do problem solving all on your own. They've also got a whole new revamped logic course where you can take a look at learning about things in a whole new way. Brilliant also has courses in math, science, computer science, physics, quantum mechanics, game theory, cryptocurrency, and more. Whether you want to learn to brush up on a few topics or learn something completely new, Brilliant has got you covered. And for the holiday season, you can give the gift of Brilliant to any of your more ambitious learners in your life. That overly inquisitive sister that you want to keep out of your hair, your over science thirsty aunt, that neighbor who really needs to learn what logic really is. Right now, as you're watching this video, the first 200 of you to click the link in the description below or go to brilliant.org slash Georgia Dow will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Just click on the button or head on down to brilliant.org slash Georgia Dow. This really helps support the channel. So thank you. And thank you to Brilliant. Let me know what you want me to deal with next. Victor, the full breakdown, Jinx, Act 2, Caitlin and Vi, those good friends. No, they're totally in a relationship. I know. Um, let me know. And I want to give a really warm, warm thanks to all of the Arcanites. Is that the word that I should call you? Everyone that has supported me through all of my Arcane series and watched all the other videos and your beautiful, heartfelt comments. It means so much to me. I spend my day reading all the comments and trying to respond to as many as I can. So thank you for your support and for subscribing to this channel.